Hi guys, me just losing it again. And for this video that dedicated to the month of Halloween, October in 2024, I shall talk about the one of the movies that um <clears throat> I thought I recorded for this, but um got raised somehow. My reaction to <clears throat> The Nightmare on Elm Street 2 Freddy's Revenge And this movie is um, interesting in that it takes the same The ending from the first movie, you know, with the bus and all that And they make it into uh, the beginning of this movie So yeah, um The main guy, Jesse Has a, has a dream that uh, he's on the bus with, 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 with Will that go round and round and round and um, he has a dream that his way of philosophy on the bus smile and he and the bus speeds off into the desert which I guess is the common thing because they end it the same thing and uh, at the end of the, at the end of the bus ride the bus is too on the end of um, two big um, pillars of rock that are, you know, that if they move left to right, they'll plunge into the uh, abyss. And uh, you got lightning that hits, hits the bus left to right. And then he wakes up and takes a regular morning breakfast meal. With the father, ma the mother, and a, li a, li a little sister looking through her um, shield box for man two fingers. Yeah, I swear to God, they put a statistical um, Fu Man 2 guy on an evil Chinese Asian man there, and, and as the prize to get in the shield box. <laughs> to put in their uh, little fingers that you can put in your, in your own fingers that look like man two fingers that I guess have like long nails to them like uh Fu Manchu guys and it's the most rich thing for Asian people I can think of you know th this is clearly a product of the 80s and uh, there's no way in hell that shit will be made today <laughs> I guarantee you that, and that it's it's real hilarious. <sighs> as as to that, we got the kid, the guy, little sister. She's like what, eight, eight, nine years old, maybe ten years old, going going for. Oh, I want my I'm looking for my for my for my, for my, for my two fingers. It's like, did I, did I just see that right? <laughs> I mean, I, I know that I know that I, was, I grew up in the, in the 90s and I was born in the 80s, but damn, damn, that's that, some that heavy uh, racist shit that nobody would pick about unless they actually saw this movie. So I mean, he goes go to the school, you know, and, and he got this. Hi, ass coach, you always like to say, assume the position. Okay, um, yeah, that's kind of odd. You would see that. Plus, I think you can do, um, physical with with the kids. Which, nowadays, that wouldn't happen, but, uh, they have another context about the run. And you, you see that he's a gay man. So, it figured, you know, they're just sitting out of spite and you know, be angry and stuff at the guy. So, I'll, I'll get to the guy. Well, um, this guy keeps on having dreams that uh, he's uh, the embodiment of the reincarnation of the next Freddy Krueger. And I regret not being able to have the glove with me. I remember at one point in my life I had a Fred Krueger gloves that fit. I don't know if it will fit nowadays, but I, I did have it. 
So um anyway, they have this this uh, guy this guy that like, keeps on having dreams about about him uh, having various byparts associated with the Fred Krueger guy and then he keeps on murdering people and he, and the kid's name and then dashing. So it makes like the kid was the killer. Now, thinking they moved into the the nightmare house in the first movie, and they even discover Nancy Thompson's uh, uh, diary. I even had diary for the first movie, <clears throat> but um, did 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 you say that? Give me a hint as to who Freddy Krueger was in the first movie. And then, uh, <clears throat> then we get more killings on his behalf. More by horror. And then there's one scene in particular that really cements the whole by horror thing. And that when you say no, no, no to game by horror, you see his. We got he with one of his male friends and his male friends like I'll say with you I'll, I'll prevent you from going to sleep. And where he did fall asleep in class. He fell asleep more than Dave De- than dead demon Davy. So um <clears throat> they had him um doing that. And then they had um They had guy um put a large broken on his shoulder to scare him awake while they were doing it in an enemy lesson which the teacher the teacher kind of blew a gasket because we they would see that pet um Snake without the cage, without a literarium, and then you would you wouldn't blame the kids for it, but I guess the the heart in it is cool. So <clears throat> you see him then having this weird dream with this guy in his room, in, the, in his friend's room, in which was the the fairy blade figure out of his own finger. Rather than the glove itself, he is see his arm ripping apart as the phrase growing out of his skin, kind of like in the fly. And then, <clears throat> then what happened next is that you see an eyeball growing in the back of the kid's throat, like uh, as a Pretty like coming out of it, out of its body. No, it, it, it in there. I don't, I don't know why he picked this one kid because the kid wasn't even in the first movie, and he see the whole vision it and stuff. In fact, one vision he sees Fred Krueger with his um scalp off. You see his throbbing brain. In it. And it's very good, very gory, and very gross, and really wet in there, from, from the point of view of, of the brain. So, anyway, it's really, really cool to look at, but it's also very creepy. Now, also in this vision, they have, um, fake food coming to the guy's stomach. Like in the beginning of the first movie with the bed sheets that went like this over the bed. And then you had, um, let me see here, had, um, him bursting through his chest, like an alien. So that was that's really cool. So then at that room, you had, um, <coughs> The part about the character um, um, <clears throat> the guy ends up killing the, the, his friend 
in cold blood they get to you. And uh, the parents are trying to open the door to get to him. And of course, you know, pretty reverse back to the regular kid. So that it looks like the kid did all of them free power. Whereas, if it was just him, the friend is jacked enough that he would be able to fight back and probably win too. But because it was Freddy, the supernatural entity, he was able to beat the, the, the strong guy. Now, Mike put up that. Um, he had a. Um, <clears throat> it had this guy who was the uh, well this girl the name was Lisa she ends up falling in love with the kid and invites her to, into the uh, whole party and stuff so that, that's cool and everything and then she really does become a force for good for, for dealing with Freddy and thing that is that Another vision, or another possessed the I vision that possessed him. The guy ends up going to a gay bar. We find the coach there. And the coach finds that, has a, knows that this kid found a little secret about being gay. He gets an E with better clothes binded by the cast off. So he drags him back to school and he has him do like you know, lots of pool around the gym and stuff and then has him take a shower in there. Now I don't have any problem with, with the teacher being gay or with him doing you know having the kid do that stuff. But what I do have a problem with is that well he's Coofing this kid to do the, the lots and the show and stuff. He didn't, he didn't, it's the same outfit that he was wearing when he was doing the, uh, in the bar scene. He looks like a uh, General Zod from the Superman movie, from Superman 2 from the Eats. So it's really, really funny. What's even more funny is that. Freddy Krueger uses his nightmare powers to actually um, control the faucets and the sink and the um, the whole the world is to tie up the guy and, like as something and strip him of his clothes and then scratch him to death. And meanwhile, the kids over there like um eating the blame for it. Because they covered with, with, with the covered with blood. So, anyway, the girl invites Jesse over to a party, and uh, well, he, well, he's about to get a uh, snow suit, he ends up growing a bigger, a larger tongue, which, um, er, which Robert Nelson made to make fun of. You know, in, in the free voice. God bless Robert uh, England because he does an excellent job as Freddy on uh, all the movies. Jake, think he's an album, except maybe one. But he's uh, excellent at, at being a white cracker. So, you see him doing that. <clears throat> and it's very cool. Quite precious to see him um, doing that. But he runs away from her. Cause, and she thinks that it's because of her. But it's not because of her, it's because for Fred Kruger is to come back. And he don't, and he don't want her to see it. So the party, more in depth than the party, is to him. Manifesting himself more and more, and he made he may ruin the party and kills a few people and ruins a few hot dogs in the process. Now, you would think that they'd be 
leads one person over there to try to fight back, but the only one that actually fights back is the father with a shotgun, even though we know that since they first grew up, the supernatural being, a, a little shotgun ain't gonna do shit to him, maybe tickle him. So, what, what you do, what you do is you shoot a fire. That seems to be his weak point. I tried to visit you tonight, taught me anything. So, after that, after he went to party, he runs away with in the kid's body. You know, he hides the kid's body, and he now it's fully on the outside, fully for forever. Where the inside, the new, the, the crew of nougat is so dusty. So they have, um, <clears throat> they have dusty, the fake crew incarnate go to the factory and, um, and, uh, he tends to, he intends to keep the buy from himself now, Freddy Krueger, because he likes the buy, he likes being alive. In the present world, it, we have power. We can use its gloves to attack people, escape people, intimidate people. You know, but go scratching up in the air, scratching the walls, scratching at everything, even picking someone's nose or picking their ass when they do. So anyway. Liz, Liz comes up and she says, I, I love you, Tetsu. I know you're in there. Come on out. And, 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 and Fraker says, Tetsu, it's not here. I'm, I'm Tetsu now. This is a callback to the first movie where he says, I meet no boyfriend now. So, get used to me. And then the, the French kisses to the phone. I don't know if that scene comes as nudity or not because you never actually see her nipples, but you see her the other, the other part of her breasts. So I don't know if they're gonna turn that as nudity or not. But I don't think it means anything. Anyway, um, this is definitely like one of the more gory parts of the. Of Franchise, I think, because of all the big horror and the blood and the guts and stuff. There's also a thing about Freddy uh, murdering little children, little girls. No, that that's okay. That that's monstrous enough. I think that I think that's good enough for being horror, horrified by this guy. But then later on in the in the franchise, they had, they implied that they, they said that he molested the little girl. Now, I, I don't think that that's necessary for the character. I think we already hate him enough that he killed the kids. But when he molested the little girls, it's like a new low for people. I don't know, even Donald Trump would do that. I don't think. So, anyway. I, I like it better way just to kill them. He doesn't have to do anything else with the body because that's creepy enough as it is. So anyway, we have Lisa over there saying, "No, no, you, I love you, Jesse. Come, on, come on out, come back." He like, Jesse is not here. Then you see him up getting a. Uh, like Jesse trying to come out, literally because he's um, is he the blood coming out of his face and arms and whatever. So then you see him, um, it's Jesse trying to force his way out, and you see a body burning and stuff. Now, now I like the way Fruit Fruit said. Pretty bluffs and that if you kill me, Jesse will die too. 
that's what that's for what when they were in the kitchen like a home she tried to stab um Freddy, but she couldn't really do it because it was still just his body. And she was trying to kill Freddy. So that's why he pretty much laughed it off. But now he, he, he ain't laughing no more because uh, this king Lisa the game through to Jesse and Jesse winning. So, Freddy gets it. Destroyed by the power of love again, and he ends up um, bursting into flames. The flames make more black as sooty and stuff, and just emerges from the body of Freddy Krueger. And this does it really good because he's untouched. He's untouched by the flame. So that could be yeah. Uh, a virgin reference or or a pure good reference that he's pure good and free with evil. So, um yeah, he drew him by the power of love. He they have a dream of, they have a vision of him going to a school and a school bus from the east where in the first scene with the bus the bus Horrific little cat, evil face on it. And it's a good fight at school until, until he takes off down the road. Here, he feels he, he, laughing maniacally at the, the bar. So, yeah, I, I enjoyed this movie with the real treat to see it all over again. It's a quick movie, it's only like maybe I don't play. Alan Twingman, Eamon Tops. So, it was like pretty good. I enjoy it. I, I haven't seen three, four, or five, and whatever else of the sister. Only, only Freddy vs. Jason. So, can we just see those all the part next year? Anyway, um, I thank you for watching my video on. Freddy, um, Freddy, um, Nightmare Before, yeah, Nightmare on Elm Street, Part 2, Freddy's Revenge, which tried to get revenge by taking over another body, and, you know, becoming, um, incarnate again. I give I give this movie my happy piece silver ball because it's excellent. Uh, but in London it's excellent as Freddy Krueger as always. He's excellent. The yeah, acting good, the music good, the effects are really good, really uh, visceral and very there and. Really wet too. But the body of portion is scary, gory, and um, of gooey. <sighs> if you look what you see here, and want to see more of my videos, you can always. Like, comment, and share my videos, or subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want, you can contact me for future information about future videos and things. And the videos are at, at my, my number is at, you can call me or text me at 631 3707 and you can follow me on Twitter or at P Milestone Pro. Also, <coughs> also my 
Мобили Майя и Мальд Джей Чейд Дюни Чанал Дюни.ком So, um, I slew all you three, three, um, Kruger friends out there. And if you want, you can always, um, <coughs> I want you guys to tell me what your favorite, uh, Nightmare on the movie is. So, pizza, my little Google Cobblins. So I all you guys to go to the end. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.